Hello, welcome to my channel. My channel is all about soap making and other handmade products. You can find videos on bar and liquid soaps, wax tablets and many other products. Please remember to like and subscribe to my channel for more videos and press the bell button so you don't miss out on any updates. Useful links and details are also provided in the description below. In this video, I will be making another custom breast milk soap and switching things up and adding avocado oil in the recipe and carrot as an additive to add extra benefits to the soap. In this video, I will also go through how to run the soap recipe through a lye calculator and talk about water substitution with milk and other water containing additives. You can revisit my previous breast milk soap to see how I've made a Bastille soap for babies. To have carrot as an additive, we need a fresh carrot and we cut off the amount that I want and peel off its skin and then cut into small pieces to cook in boiling water. Once it is cooked through, we take out the carrots and stick blend the puree using some of the carrot water. Here I have 50 grams of carrot puree and then we set that aside while we prepare our lye solution and oils for our soap. In order to make soap, it is very important to run your formula through the lye calculator. I've always used soapy as my go-to lye calculator. So when you enter the site, you click for the calculator and you can create an account to add and save your own recipes. Once you get to this page, to make bar soaps, you always choose sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide is for making liquid soaps. 100% sodium hydroxide is the recommended purity for making soaps. Then you need to enter the amount of oils you will be using according to the size of your mold. For my loaf mold, I always use 840 grams of oils in total. You will then decide on the percentage or ratio of your lye solution, the amount of water you will use to dissolve your lye. I like using the ratio method. 3 to 1 is a common ratio, but I personally find that it takes too long to trace and sometimes it is too soft to unmold after one day. I normally like to use 2 to 1 for a bar that is easy to unmold and easy to work with. This is also the ratio I choose to use this time. I always keep my super fat at 5% and rarely super fat after cook because I will definitely forget to add extra oils at trace. The amount of fragrance or essential oil is usually at 1-3% to in cold processed soap and because this soap is for a baby, I would go on to the lower side and use 1%. Here's a section to add your additives as a reminder to your recipes but I rarely use this part. Here you can add your oils one by one on this side and enter the percentage of your soap formula. To make a balanced soap recipe, it always consists of hard oils and soft oils. The hard oils I'll be using this time are coconut oil, cocoa butter and shea butter. These are the oils that will help the soap bar harden and last longer in the shower. The soft oils I'm using this time would be olive oil and avocado oil. These oils are gentle on the skin and are great for sensitive skin. The coconut oil in the formula helps to create nice big bubbles, while the other oils I've chosen is to create a creamy soft leather with a high amount of unsaponified oils to leave the skin feeling moisturized. Here I've kept coconut oil at 25% so it will not be too drying and used the 50% of olive oil in this recipe because I really want a creamy leather. Then I made up the rest of the recipe with 10% avocado oil and 7.5 cocoa butter and shea butter. After plugging in all the necessary information, here you get how much oils to weigh out, the amount of water, lye and fragrance oil or essential oils to use. I like how this calculator shows your breathe properties of the oils and give you an overall profile of your soap recipe when all added up. Because I will be adding the carrot puree, I would subject 50 grams from the amount of water to determine the total weight of breast milk I would weigh out. Here I have weighed out the amount of breast milk in big ice blocks and have placed it in an ice bath to prevent the quick rise of temperature causing the scorching of the milk, which results in discoloration and bad scent. I like to keep the breast milk in big ice blocks too because it takes longer to melt them. Make sure you add the lye into the breast milk slowly bit by bit. Keep stirring all until it has completely dissolved. Adding lye to milk is my preferred method when I want to make full use of the breast milk. You can check out my other videos where I have added milk into the oils instead of adding it into the lye by clicking on the I button on the top right hand corner. This process takes a long time and it took about 10 minutes to dissolve all the lye without scorching the milk. 
I have decided to combine the carrot puree and the lye solution together to make sure the carrot puree is at its finest. You may choose to add the carrot puree at trace instead. You also have to be extra careful when stick blending the two together in case the lye solution spills. Once the oils have cooled down, I will strain the lye solution down the strainer to get rid of any chunky bits so it won't show up in the soap. I'll also give the soap a quick stir just in case to test whether it would trace too quickly but this formula with 50% olive oil should take a long time to trace. Then mix well with a stick blender until it reaches the light to medium trace. Adding fragrance oil or essential oils of your choice, this time again I will be using lavender essential oils as it is safe to be used on kids. Again pouring the soap down on a spatula to reduce the occurrence of air bubbles. Now it is time to give it a good tap to release any air bubbles. I would like to add some texture to the soap top this time. I unmolded the soap after one day, and it is already really hard to go through my cutter. Here is the final cut of my soap. What is your favourite additive in your soap? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if you liked the video and subscribe to the channel for more videos.